Hello all you beautiful souls, ole a todos vocus lindas amas. Welcome back to push ups for PTSD and day 1256. Moving right along we come to part 3 in the final installment of maintaining good mental health in depth tips. I won't drag this out and instead jump right into tip number 4. It's a short one but a good one. The tip is have fun. Yes this goes hand in hand with the previous tip of slowing down and relaxing. However, having fun doesn't necessarily mean going slow or slowing down. Let's talk about it a bit more in depth. Doing the things we enjoy is good for our health. You'll feel good about yourself while refreshing your spirit at the same time. This makes it easier to cope with stress and other problems. When feeling sad or worried, we often don't do what makes us happy. And if we don't enjoy things, we end up feeling worse. Now, I don't want to be so rude as to tell you how to have fun. What you find fun is up to you and you alone. My fun and your fun could be completely different things and I'd hate to try to push something on someone that they just don't want. What I do have, however, is a tip to help you get along with whatever fun you choose to have. Dramatic pause, dramatic pause, okay. Make a list of things you do daily that make you happy and then give yourself time in the day for them. I myself like your team, so this particular tip works well for me. Working hand in hand with this list is using your problem solving to make sure you can have fun. Everyone is different, so no one example will help everyone. Perhaps watching movies makes you happy, but you feel you don't have enough time. Rescheduling your evening in order to watch it earlier might be beneficial. The fifth tip is reaching out. Involving other people in your life and creating a social network is a great support system that can help you analyze and deal with your problems. In doing so, we connect with others. Having a social network and connecting with others can help in different ways. Some people are good at dealing with feelings. They have and understand empathy better than others. This is great at helping each other feel comforted. Others are more task driven and good at helping out, such as babysitting or grocery shopping, and they enjoy doing these tasks. They can help you with day to day tasks. Some are good at seeing problems from more than one viewpoint. They can help you look at problems and understand them more realistically. Some people are great at delivering information. This can help find better solutions through collective reasoning. Most people have networks with a variety of people, be it family members, friends, co-workers, classmates, neighbors, or other people. Developing a strong support network is all about communication, and here are a few tips to help build one. First off, ask for help. Not everyone is Charles Xavier, and won't know that you need help if you don't ask. Think of and look for new ways to meet people. This could be through a club activity or some sort of interest-based group or class. Join a support group. This is a great way to find help for a specific problem. Finally, let go of bad relationships. Some people in your networks might not support you. It's hard, but let them go. Another way to reach out is to help others. Helping someone or a group makes you feel as good about yourself as you should. It's also a good way to meet new people and learn different skills. Try asking it around and finding volunteer work if you have the time. Finally, get help when you need it. To stay healthy, we need to make sure we're receiving help when we start to feel unwell or off. The same is doubly true for mental health. Mental health problems are easier uh, to care for when they are caught quickly. Therefore, if you are feeling unwell, it's important to talk to a doctor or counselor. I hope these tips are beneficial for you. Please like and share and watch to the end in order to help spread awareness. If you're looking for daily videos with helpful tips and to inspire and motivate, please subscribe and together we can do our best to spread awareness about PTSD and other mental health issues. That's it for today. I hope you're doing well and I thank you for your time. Take care and thank you for surviving.